Why do we have a doctor shortage in Ontario? A couple of months ago, this Reddit user posted a very in-depth post explaining why it's so difficult for new doctors to start up clinics, especially in small towns. Essentially explaining that the government is really only funding doctors 38% of what is required to provide proper family care medicine. And one of the things they mention is that for new doctors who just graduated from med school with debt, it's very difficult to open up a new practice, especially in a small town. It costs about $84,000 to $100,000 per year to run a doctor's office per doctor. And in this example of services rendered, the actual cost plus the value provided of the service is $98.67, but the total amount provided by OHIP to the doctor is only $37.95, meaning a funding gap of approximately $60. But of the money given to them by OHIP, after paying their overhead, they're only left with $24.67. And they still have to fund all of these things things on their own. And I know it's very easy to say, oh, but doctors get paid so much, why are they complaining? The problem here is that it's very hard to just even start up a clinic. And while yes, doctors get paid well, they also have to go through a lot of very expensive schooling, very difficult schooling. And they also do a lot of unpaid work on the side. This is very similar for other jobs like nursing and teaching, but people tend to not talk about it in regards to doctors. And there are other funding models where they get a fixed amount per patient per year. But what this actually means is that doctors are not incentivized to take on younger patients as they make more money from older patients. And they worked it out that the average physician would be making about 85 $5 per hour, which yes, is a lot of money. But once again, when you consider how much debt they have, how much schooling they have to go through and how expensive it is to run a clinic, that's not that much. And they also highlight how they are basically disincentivized to bring in more doctors to their clinics because it would result in more unpaid work, explaining how the government has basically set them up for a failed business model specifically highlighting that there is no value placed by the government on good care that is provided to the patients. Now, I am in no way here advocating for a privatized healthcare system. When only a small fraction of doctors trained in family medicine that are graduating are setting up office-based practices, that's a problem. The government needs to step in and help these new doctors create their practices. And the government needs to make it more sustainable for these practices to exist in small towns. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but maybe we should start by listening to family doctors. They have a website at oufp.ca that you can check out. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below.